All right, guys, so welcome to another video. This is the big one for Poco X3 Pro users. Now, about a month or two back, I did make a video of how to downgrade on a locked bootloader because back then the understanding was that if you are on MIUI 12.5 based custom ROM firmware or MIUI 12.5 stock ROM, your phone will get bricked. Now, it's been quite some time since then. There have been multiple theories that have come across and I thought it was about time that I clear the air with whatever knowledge I have. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the bricking issue of Poco X3 Pro, why these phones are randomly dying, how many phones are dying. You know, I've done my study. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Now before we begin, there is a very very clear disclaimer that I would like to place. This is everything that I have gathered the information for you guys to know. You know, we as a channel are not responsible if your device gets bricked after following any of the procedures that are mentioned in this particular video. I'm using information that is publicly available. This is not my personal experience because you can see that my Poco X3 Pro is not dead yet. There are several other devices that are dead, but there are a lot of rumors running around. You know, this is the kernel, which is the issue. This is the ROM that is the issue. So step by step, let's go ahead and clear all the myths so that at least till the time you have your phone working fine, you can use it with peace of mind, right? So let's begin with pointers one by one. All right, now, first things first, what ROM causes a hard break? What MIUI version causes a hard break? Trust me, it is not a software issue. The very first thing that I would like to clarify very, very specifically is that the breaking that is happening, it is not a software issue. It is a PMIC issue. I will explain you what a PMIC chip is in, you know, later in this video. But trust me, it is not a software issue because this is my Poco X3 Pro. Since the time devices started breaking, I have been flashing everything that is possible. The MIA 13 port, MIA 12.5 based ROMs, I've tried lip kernel, this, that. So there are specific situations combined with a specific, you know, unit of hardware that is failing. And that is what we are going to talk about, right? So the first thing that you need to tell yourself is that this is a hardware issue. If my device has that buggy PMIC chip, no matter what software I am on, it is going to die. And the second thing that I'd like to clear over here is you are covered under warranty. This is a device that was released less than a year ago, guys. And uh, in most of the situations, you are either getting a brand new phone from Poco or they're replacing your motherboard. Now, one more thing that I'd like to clarify over here is don't pay anything. Recently in today's uh, video, the gaming review for MIUI 13 on Poco X3 Pro, somebody told me that they have been asked to pay 1000 rupees. The device is under warranty. As far as India is concerned, you don't have to pay anything, right? Now, one more question that I get quite often is, uh, I was on a custom ROM when my device bricked. If I go to the service center, will they come to know if my device was on custom ROM? Well, over here, you have to play smart. I cannot directly tell you to go ahead and lie, but you know what you want to tell them, right? Because if the device is dead, there is a high probability that they will not come to know that you are on a custom ROM. And if you think that your device has a buggy PMIC chip, I would recommend you to stay on stock ROM till the time, you know, you have to actually go for a motherboard replacement. So yes, although Poco, Xiaomi, you know, these companies support custom ROMs, but your experience will vary depending on the service center to service center, depending on the city, country you are in. Remember, this is a global device we are talking about. So if you just go there and tell them that my phone was on a custom ROM and it died, obviously they're going to put you out of warranty. I'm telling you this by experience because one of my elite testers, Pratik, had this issue with their brother's device. So I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but you need to tell them what they want to know, which will give you warranty cover and don't pay anything. I'm very, very clear about that. Now, a lot of people have been saying, is this issue real or not? Trust me, this issue is very, very real. I will show you guys a group on Telegram, which is uh, the Poco X3 Pro breaking group in which there are around 300, 400 members. There have been polls and based on the polls, I have created this pie diagram. Now, this is for your understanding. This does not represent the total amount of devices that are affected. This is just a normal survey that that particular group is doing. Now, as you can see over here, 77% of the devices are not bricked, 
right? Now, these are manufacturing dates which are available on the back of your manufacturing box, right? The box in which the device comes. So as you can see, we have 4% which were bricked over here, which were manufactured before April 2021. We have 14% which were manufactured in April 2021. August 2021, 2% and other dates, 3%. Now, trust me, as far as I'm concerned, this doesn't really mean a lot. It is, you know, a yes or no answer whether your device has the buggy chip or not. Now, this is what the device ideally shows before breaking. This is something that I showed in my previous video as well. Now, let me introduce you to that particular group. This is the group POCO X3 Pro Brick Hub OT, right? You can go ahead and join this on Telegram. This is not my group, of course, but I am a member of this group. You have 406 members over here. And if you actually go to the notes section, right? Let's go to notes over here. There are some interesting things that you will find over here. Now over here, you have best, you have brick, chrome, dope wall. These are not useful. Hard brick, brick, hard brick date pole is something I showed you right now, right? Persist PMIC bug. Now let's talk about the PMIC chip. Let's, you know, get into the details so you can understand what exactly is happening with these POCO X3 Pro devices. Now this video is a little lengthy and a little explanatory, but trust me, you need the knowledge because it will help you to understand your device better. Now what it does say, just wanted to notify that I'm going to remove the smart charging feature in future builds. Now this is for a particular kernel, right? Now, a bunch of Xiaomi devices, at least YU Surya. Surya is POCO X3, YU is POCO X3 Pro, right? So they have somewhat buggy PMIC, which is a power management IC and are faring, facing an issue in rare most scenarios. Some can face it without using these features too, right? Till you don't mess with power supply or anything related to PMIC mods or features like smart charging, idle state, charging those Magisk modules for smart charging like ACC, whatever can trigger the PMIC to bug out as well, right? So these are modules which have stopped now. The smart charging feature also on a lot of custom ROMs is gone, right? So there is a particular method which needs to be followed and that is not guaranteed to work, okay? That is just a method that is, you know, suggested that you can try. So you can you read this in this particular group. I don't want to make the video extremely long. Now, there is something which sort of looks like a solution. I cannot guarantee it will work, but somebody has put their effort out there. So, you know, might as well go ahead and have a look at it. So put hashtag over here, PMIC calibration. Now, this is on XDA developer, so it is somewhat legit. This is a long process. If you're experiencing any issues, I would recommend you go through this entire process to be safe. You can do this on stock ROM. Whatever is needed is clearly, you know, mentioned on XDA developers and it's a reputed website. So you shouldn't really have a problem. Now coming back to the software part, a lot of people have been saying that I'm on 12. I don't have an issue. I'm on 12.5. I have the issue. I will tell you my experience. The software doesn't really matter. If you have a chip that is going to break, no matter what ROM you are on, it is eventually going to break. So the ROM kernel are not to be blamed. Now, there are a lot of people who have been also telling me heavy gaming causes brick. Now, this is a very, very tricky statement. I'll tell you why, because people, you know, most of the times they play games without charging, but if you're going to play the game while charging, it not only overheats the device, it also kicks in the PMIC, right? The power management IC, because after a certain percentage, the charging speed is supposed to slow down to reduce the heat. If you're using the phone while charging, the PMIC takes care of all those things. If you're hundred percent charged, it will stop supplying current to the battery. All those things are taken care of by the PMIC. And if you're gaming and charging, you might have an issue. There are so many unexplored areas in this PMIC bug. You can't really say till the time your device has started showing symptoms, right? Now, another question is what happens at the service center? This is the last question that I'm going to cover today. So you make sure you take care of your purchase invoice. You keep your box and try to be on stock. If you're thinking your device is having symptoms or if you're outright scared that, you know, I don't want to touch a custom ROM. I have a guide in which you can flash stock ROM and relock your bootloader. Be there, but understand changing ROMs, changing softwares might, you know, slightly alleviate the chances because custom ROMs sometimes can heat the device more than it would heat on a stock ROM and stuff like that. But they are not responsible for the breaking. The responsible 
person or the responsible part of the phone is the PMIC chip, which is happening on multiple devices. But as you saw, even amongst the 300, 400 votes that we had, 77% of the devices are not bricked. And if you don't believe me, look at my phone. I flash it left, right and center every single day. I recently did a gaming review in which the processor went to 76, 77, 78 degrees. The battery went to 47, 48 degrees and I charge it every single day to 100%. Sometimes I leave it on charging for overnight as well. So all in all, the bricking issue is real. It is present. It is a hardware thing. It is not a software thing. Take as many precautions as you can. You can actually go to that particular group. It will be useful for you to get all the information before you go ahead and make any changes. There are real people over here who have their devices bricked. You can chat with them to understand their experience. The whole point of this video is to make you guys aware. What needs to be done? What precautions needs to be taken? And what is the right place to discuss this? Let me know in the comment section if you found this video to be very, very helpful or useful. And should we, is there any other questions that you have that you would like to, you know, ask me that I should cover in the future video? For now, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.